Hello and welcome to my F122 My Team Career Mode here today for the Season 2 Finale here in Vegas. The Championship is done but the Constructors is still to play for. So as we come in to qualify now, as we come up to the line, cross the line and the first lap is absolutely shocking. Now towards the end of qualifying as we have a big step of overstealing coming out of that corner and now down the very long straight but it's an absolute stinker of a qualifying we were going to start down in p7 after all the talk after all the speculation drivers and fans alike can't wait for this one welcome to the las vegas grand prix Three point eight miles under the bright lights of Las Vegas. Landmarks everywhere you look, punctuating the 17 corners and two DRS zones, one of which is down the famous strip. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Leclerc, Russell, Brown, Norris, Stroll, Ocon, Joe, Albert, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Magnussen, De Vries, Fittipaldi, Liam Lawson, Verstappen, Bottas, Sargent, and the reserve driver rounds off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Joined once again by former Formula One driver Anthony Davidson, and they've had a lot of on-track incidents recently. That could leave them low on confidence. Certainly confidence is an important factor, and every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers were able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. Right, mate, it's the final race of the season. There's nothing to lose here, so go out there and enjoy it. So for once, Mark is right, there isn't anything to play for. We can just go for it. The gloves are off after winning the championship last time out in Brazil. We can just go and have some fun, but we've got a lot of work to do. We haven't got the healthiest of engines but let's go then for the final time in 2024 we are racing here in vegas and we haven't got the best of starts but we're ahead of george into the first corner we're going to send it late up the inside of the ferrari and the alpine of gasly as we struggle to find some grip through the first couple of corners next up though is the aston martin of fernando alonso as we all rocket down the first very long straight on this track is how much he leads from the Ferrari from the Aston Martin and from us he's seven to be four on the opening lap he shall take that a bit hesitant coming into this corner this is one of the worst corners on the calendar going through there it looks like a nice sweeping corner and then it's turned into a chicane but we started to fall back towards the end of lap three we've been done by Gasly and now in May be done by the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc and I think we have yes we have this one engine not really helping us here similar to last year but that was more gearbox than engine as we've lost out to Gasly and Leclerc we head down towards turn one we're going to try and fight the Ferrari back as Ocon goes very late on the McLaren in the background but the McLaren's got the job done in Lando Norris over Ocon now we head down the straight once again, lap four. We could be mugged here. Lando Norris on our inside. Ocon, I thought he was going to have a go at us again there. Into this tight corner. We try and hold around the outside. We give the barrier a little kiss there. Probably even may have some damage from that, but Lando's through. We go off the track. George in the background, our championship rival gets past Ocon as we head down the straight. And still lap four. You can see Lando's gone. We have absolutely no pace in this race. And now we are getting mugged as it's George on our inside. Ocon there on our outside. Ocon's overtaking the Mercedes. And our engine is smoking then here in Vegas. It's like it was 
in the tower in season one is smoking but it's still going so that will do for me Archon tries to go to our inside at the final corner Archon and George side by side he did get done by Archon in the end and now this is George having a look at us but we keep him beyond for now lap 5 we're all the way down to P8 from that good start that got us up into P4 there's the engine now we're using a bit of a smoke screen the fact he's trying to keep those behind but George is absolutely done us round the outside there we try and keep him behind but we're being mugged once again George is through now his large strolls through as we head down that very long straight out in the tight corner that's the corner I hate the most on this game this one we're coming to now it's through that actually came we go and we've been done by Stroll by George and now we're only just inside the top 10 battling then Piastri Joe Albon and Perez Perez retiring after this race so he wants a good result on his final race in Formula 1 now though this is Piastri on the back of us those in front are just cruising away we have no pace our engine still smoking probably dropping oil all over the track as we have a big tank slapper there Piastri is through and so is the Alfa Romeo of Joe into the chicane we try and force him wide and now Sergeant and Albon and Joe going wheel to wheel now as we force Joe off the track a bit there and Joe He's on the back of us now, he kept on behind and now he may be a bit more aggressive to us now as we head down the long, long, long straight into this corner. We hold it around the outside for now. We are dropping like a stone in this race. Joe has finally got the job done on us then and behind now is Perez. He's got past the, the Williams. He's now we can maybe have a look at getting back past Joe into turn one with too far but there may have been contact there the Red Bull of Perez sneaks through so does Albon I think there here comes Perez on us into the top 10 he relegates us now into the first corner into that corner we force the Red Bull wide and they're all over the back of us now trying to find a way through it's low it's Albon he's found a way through Joe's dropped back Perez now on it as well and Albon looks to be through on us Perez making it free wide briefly Perez on the inside they're side by side we've dropped back we've lost out to both of them and there's an Alpine facing the wrong way as we come out of the chicane as well it's Esteban Ocon who's spun it round in his Alpine but we've lost out to Gasly and um, we've lost out to Albon, Perez and Joe now and Valtteri Bottas is on the scene as well on our outside he's got the job done as well but nearly as we have a tongue slapper what that's doing what George did trying to hold it around the outside but he gets through and we've also lost out to Magnussen in the process as well but this isn't fun we are struggling so much you can see here how worn this engine is and it's all because of this corner here I hate this corner with a passion and I don't particularly like this track anymore as well Verstappen gets past us as well in what it's proving to be a fairly difficult race for Red Bull and what's been a very disappointing season for them. A winless season it looks to be going to. As now we've lost out to Logan Sargent in the Williams. But we are going to try and send it late back up the inside of the Sargent. We go deep though. Logan Sargent swats us the dummy up the inside. We're struggling now. The engine's getting warer and warer. The smoke screen has not worked. There's now Fittipaldi's on the scene as well. Sergeant is free. We're going to go back down the inside of Sergeant at the first corner, but we've gone deep. We've gone deep. And we've lost out to Sergeant, and we may lose out to our former teammate Fittipaldi, who's looking for a fairly decent result after he retired from his home Grand Prix last time out. Here comes the 
Fittipaldi up the inside, but he's got DRS from Logan, but Fittipaldi is through, and we've dropped all the way down to P18 in this race, as we send it late back down the inside of Fittipaldi, and that really tight chicane, and we've caught him napping a bit there, and we retake the position, and now Ocon goes through, he's got past Fittipaldi, as well as we go deep, send it on Ocon, force him off the track, now try and find some grip on these tyres, into the final corner, we've cut it a bit, and we've hit Ocon, Ocon spun us round, and into the barrier, and we're out of the Las Vegas Grand Prix, for two years in a row, we've then spun round, tapped the wall, and it snapped our suspension, and we're out of the Vegas Grand Prix. That's it then. They've taken the win here as we wrap up another fantastic Formula One season. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So Lewis Hamilton then wins the final Grand Prix of the season ahead of Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly Alpine getting a podium in the end. I think they got a podium here last season. But for us, a DNF, our first DNF since Japan. After a championship winning season, it is a bit of a disappointing end, but we were going backwards anyway, so it was already quite painful. This is the final Drivers' Championship. Then we win the world title by 29 points in the end, and Leclerc finishes P3. Hamilton's last kind of quarter of the season charge didn't get him ahead of Leclerc down at the back is Lawson who was slowest Aaron Barnes faster than the Alpha Tauri so we'll give Aaron Barnes that at least he's beat someone in the second half this season but that win for Mercedes and a double non-score for us means Mercedes are Constructors World Champions for the ninth time in Formula 1. They've had a couple of seasons out but they are back. This is how the R&D developed over the season and this is your final results then for everyone this season and really that run of winning every other race first half of the season is what won us that world title because we were so inconsistent in the second half it's a disappointing way to end the season but it's also a championship winning season and we will take that into 2025 i'll see you then goodbye <laughs>